Hey guys, it's fast food review time again, and today I'm off to Hungry Jack's, aka Burger King. They have just released a burger called a Whopper with a lot. I was watching TV the other day, and on there was this Whopper with a lot, and I thought, mate, blokes, fellas, shearless cobbers, I've got to give one of these a crack. So I'm off to HJ's uh, to try a Whopper with a lot. Let's drive through and buy one and see what it's like. We'll dissect it and I'll give it a score out of 10. Let's go. Yeah! Here's a local Hungry Jack's. It's got a drive through So let's use it. Can I grab a Whopper with the lot, please? Yeah, I had a meal today. Nah, just the burger, thanks. Anything else? No, thanks, just the burger. Okay, why you down? Thank you. I was waiting for her to ask, was there anything else again? <laughs> she already asked it twice. Hi. Right. 1065. <laughs> Bloody hell! Must come in a gold-plated box. $10.65. Oh, it's got a lot to live up to. This better be the best burger I've ever had, I tell ya. $10.65. Thank you very much. See ya. Right, well here it is. Uh, it's got a good weight. How about we find somewhere and park and dissect this bad boy? Alrighty, well, here we go. Burger with a lot. Whopper with a lot. Ooh, and some napkins. Oh, good, thank you. Well, it's got a pretty good weight to it, so it's about 300 grams, I reckon. And I do love myself a Whopper. Can't wait to see what's on this one. Whoa! Mate, that thing looks huge. It's pretty solid. Have a look at it. It's just like, whoa. Dude, that's like a huge burger. It's massive. It's about as big as my head. It's packed full of stuff. Have a look. It's just like so big and solid. Man, this is the biggest burger I've ever had from Hungry Jack's, I reckon. So what's on this? We got their bread with, a, uh, with their mayo and lettuce. I've got a tomato. Some onions. Uh, some pickles there. There's the egg. I've got some bacon here. There's some cheese underneath. Their piece of meat. Some more cheese. And another piece of meat. With the bread underneath. Two bits of meat. I know a couple of boys that will love this. Double the fun. Okay, uh, Hungry Jacks, uh, you said it's a bag with a lot, but where's the beetroot? Where's the pineapple ring? Is there a banana fritter on this too? Everyone knows that a burger with a lot's got a bacon, egg, pineapple ring and a piece of beetroot on it, don't they? Obviously the chefs at Hungry Jack's need to go to chef school or watch Greg's Kitchen. Then they'd know. Maybe that's on the Aussie burger with the lot. So to them the lot must mean an extra piece of meat, an extra piece of cheese, an extra piece of bacon and an egg. Well, I guess they're, they're almost half right. I mean, it's it's not the lot, but I tell you what, <laughs> I'm sure after I finish it, I'll be wishing that I hadn't eaten it because it weighs an absolute ton and seriously, it does look like it's a lot. <laughs> and you probably want to be really hungry before you buy one of these things because it is massive, this thing. If there's two of you, you might want to share it. It looks really nice. It looks tasty. It's dripping everywhere. It's as messy as hell. I can't wait to try it, so let's go. Oh, mm. 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 Yeah. Mm. Oh, oh man. It's bits and pieces sticking everywhere. It's dripping everywhere. Mmm. 
Oh, that tastes good. Mmm, this thing is so big, I can barely fit it in my mouth. Oh, mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Man. This is so messy, this burger. It's like dripping everywhere. It gets all over your hands. You might not want to be wearing decent clothes if you buy one of these. As for the flavor, it tastes just like a normal everyday Whopper with cheese. There's a slight hint of the egg that's on there. I can't really taste it that well. And considering there's bacon on there, I can't even taste that. With that extra piece of meat and that extra piece of cheese on there though, I tell you what, this has got to be about 16,000 kilojoules. If you're on a diet, you probably wouldn't want to buy this. But I tell you what, if you're anorexic and you want to put weight on, I'll be pulling some cones and then diving into one of these bad boys. I tell you what, the weight will come straight back on. It's a pretty good burger actually. I'm going to struggle to finish this. So, <laughs> I'll tell you what, before I do finish it, I think I've had enough now to know what score I'm going to give it out of 10. Man, it's like one of the messiest burgers I've ever eaten. It's just gone absolutely everywhere. Lucky I dropped the towel down to catch all the mess because if I hadn't, mate, I'd be off to the dry cleaners and it would cost me another 10 bucks 60 to get my clothes cleaned. Speaking of $10.60, I think that's how much it costs. Um, value for money. Mate, this thing is huge. I mean, compared to every other $10 burger I've ever had, mate, nothing has come even close to the size or weight of this. This thing is massive, and I don't even think I'll need dinner tonight if I polish this bad boy off. It's probably about three normal everyday average size burgers, so, I mean, for value, I'm going to give this an 8.5 out of 10. Now, I do love a Whopper. <laughs> That's what she said. This tastes just like a Whopper, except even better. That extra cheese on there is just clogging my arteries that extra piece of meat i'll tell you what the saturated fats in that will probably send me to the grave pretty quick mm. it's packed full of the mayo oh yeah to counteract all that unhealthiness there's lots of onions and lettuce on it as well oh, mm. flavor wise as far as hungry jack's burgers go mate this one's really good i'm actually really enjoying this it's way too big though, but hey, that's awesome. And that's what you want with a burger. You want a burger that you're going to struggle to finish. And this is one that I think I'm going to struggle finishing. It tastes really good. I'm really enjoying it. So flavor wise, I'm going to give this another eight and a half out of 10. So for all over value, all over taste, all over everything, mate, I tell you what, it's an eight and a half burger all day long. I'm really enjoying this and I'm pretty sure you will too. Have you tried the new Whopper with a lot? Hey, as far as an Aussie goes, it hasn't really got the lot on it, but it has got a lot on it. It's heavy, it's fulfilling, it tastes good, it weighs a ton. I'll probably be clogged up for the next week, but hey, I reckon it'll be worth it. If you have given it a go, let me know down below. Let me know what you thought about your Whopper with a lot. Did it leave you with stomach cramps or were you satisfied with the size of it? Was it as messy as this thing is? It's just dripping everywhere and, oh mate, after I finish the burger, I'll be finishing off what it drips into the box that they supplied me with. There's another meal there on its own. Well, I'm going to sit here and finish off this beautiful burger from Hungry Jack's, the Whopper with a lot. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next Friday for next Friday's fast food food review oh boy <laughs> the bun's starting to get soggy now so i better finish this off i'll see you later mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. oh yeah this is greg's kitchen where the reviews are fake and thick oh yeah well, it's been a few hours since I ate that Whopper with a lot, and uh, I tell you what, I still feel pretty good. I had no stomach cramps, I was feeling full for probably, what, two hours? And I think I should be able to eat some dinner tonight. But uh, yeah, there's always that residual aftertaste of the onion that I always get with a Whopper. So I won't be going out kissing any women, but hey, I wasn't going to be doing that anyway, so it didn't, doesn't really matter. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Yeah.